on the 11th of September in the year 2001. I was a 41-year-old lieutenant colonel. I was serving at Fort Rucker, Alabama as the G8. Uh, we were actually TDY here. I was here with my boss. It was a gorgeous, gorgeous morning. I remember the sky being just this crystal clear blue early fall morning. It, it was a regular Tuesday, normal day coming into work. I took the train into work. We uh, came into the building and there was a security guard there who met us. Uh, he could tell we were from out of town, asked us if we needed some assistance, and uh, we said yes, we're trying to locate uh, a conference room. He gave us some assistance and he said, once you get there, turn on the television because you will see that an airplane hit one of the Twin Towers. Uh, so I go in and my normal, normally what I do is I keep the TV on uh, with the sound off, watching what's going on, and I started to see what was occurring as far as in the nation. Uh, it was so unusual to see a plane fly into the uh, side of a skyscraper. After, after I went back and, and watched it again, I says, there's no way that that could, have been, that that could have been a mistake. That had to be an intentional act. So I knew that was something, was, was something was wrong. I had one of the friends that worked for me uh, indicated that this is not a day that you would want to be working in the Pentagon. And he says, I'm going to go ahead and, and, leave, and leave early today. I don't think he got to, uh, because at, uh, at 9.37 is when the plane, was when the plane hit uh, the building. I was sitting at my desk. Um, we worked in the sixth corridor, but, but in the A ring. The, uh, the plane hit between corridors four and five, as we learned. Um, so we, we definitely felt it, heard a loud, uh, basically crash, crunch type noise. They had been doing some construction above us as we, the renovation of the Pentagon was ongoing at the time. So one of my office mates um, out loud asked, did they drop something above us? And I said, no, I don't think they, they dropped something above us. We need to, to grab what we can um, and begin to head out of, the, out, of the, out of the room. The director of the office, Colonel Frank Bowley, came out and said, I just got a phone call from the off front office, and yes, a plane has hit the Pentagon. You could feel uh, the building shake uh, when it hit. That's when I said we have been hit. We felt the, the Pentagon shake. Uh, we looked out across the courtyard and we could see on the other side of the Pentagon a very dark black plume of smoke, which was obviously uh, uh, later understood it to be JP-8 or some aircraft fuel that was burning. And then we understood that uh, there was yet a commercial airliner that had hit the Pentagon. But we knew when we got into the hallway, we started to see the smoke coming towards us. Um, we weren't going that way. We needed to go the other way. And then that's when I saw then Colonel Wesley Miller come around the corner. His office was adjacent to ours. And we immediately got up and started to uh, go through our evacuation procedures. First thing I did at that point was I sat down uh, at the computer and I banged out a quick email. Uh, I sent an email to my wife, to my father, and my father-in-law. I'm fine. I'm good. Don't know when I'll be able to communicate again. Love you. Hit send. As we were walking out the building, there were several individuals in a state of panic. Uh, so we kind of corralled them and, and helped them find their way out of the Pentagon and uh, relocate uh, the vehicle that we had parked in the south parking lot. Someone uh, said, hey, we're going to stand up the cat. And I'm like, what's a cat? They said, well, that's the crisis action team. At some point, it was determined that we also needed to send a representative to the National Military Command Center, the NMCC. I was apparently the, the person closest to the individual deciding uh, who the Army representative was going to be uh, up there. Uh, so I was nominated, and I went up, um, walked through the building, and you could smell the smoke and the fire and the dust of all that was going on. As, you, as I got up there, they said, hey, where's the Army guy? I said, I don't know if I'm the Army guy, but I am a Army guy. And they said, well, there's your chair. I said, okay, what am I supposed to do in the chair? Well, you've been here before, haven't you? I said, no, this is my first time. So we'll answer the phone and pass off the, the information to whoever you think it needs to go to. The whole area was quite congested with traffic. We pulled off at a bookstore there on Highway 1 and uh, asked them if we could come in and use some of their communications equipment. Uh, and so we set up a little makeshift talk, if you will, 
and uh, we made a point to try to locate everybody from Fort Rucker, Alabama that we knew was in the D.C. area. Our military training helped in that, in that with responding to a, an unknown uh, situation because we did not know a lot at that point with what happened and what occurred. Um, but, uh, but I think that helped, um, helped us respond as we did. And I think credit to a lot of our, our teammates as well, military and civilian alike, and, and um, the, as calm as we could be, although obviously people were concerned, there were definitely people that were shaken and, 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 uh, um, and concerned. Um, but uh, we helped each other get through it as a team. As soon as I could, I located a telephone and called and uh, let my, my young daughter at the time, four years old, let her know that daddy was okay. It was difficult to, to, to sleep that night. I know um, my wife asked a, a very great question. Um, what are we going to do? And I told her I didn't know exactly what we were going to do, but we were going to find out and we were going to make sure that, that justice would be achieved. We met there uh, and then started making plans as far as what we were doing. So what we were able to do is we were able to obtain our tapes and to take the tapes to the mirror site, which was located in Crystal City, and hang those tapes. And we were operational on, the, on our computer system by noontime on the 12th of September. By the 13th, the information started that um, we uh, were <coughs> to go ahead and start building a budget. And the next morning, we took our vehicle, uh, actually it was a rental van, and drove 15 hours back to Fort Rucker, Alabama. I would characterize that drive as it's quite sobering and, uh, you know, left a lot of questions in our mind as to what the future uh, of America was going to be now that uh, we had uh, uh, ha had an attack on the homeland. Like so it was a, a, a time where the nation really came together uh, and that we felt uh, a, a real closeness. A couple years after 9-11 is when I moved to the Army Budget Office, uh, and that's when I really started recognizing the, um, the financial uh, cost uh, and what it took to resource a war. The challenge fiscally um, that we have been able to work through and overcome uh, is a testament to a lot of great people, uh, not just the ones I mentioned, but also to the entire workforce, uh, both uh, civilian and military, who are just great, great Americans. There, I think there's a special, a special bond as far as that remains, as far as with those individuals, uh, those individuals that were here. So I stay in contact with uh, several people who were with me on that day. Um, they were friends to begin with uh, and co-workers, uh, but uh, we, we have stayed in contact. And uh, I don't think we necessarily reminisce about that day and, and, and share our memories, but we certainly do remember, like everybody does, that on the, on the 11th of September in 2001, who you were with and what you were doing at the time. Every year on 9-11, on we email one another no matter where we are in the world. Some of them have retired, um, and we've all had many different jobs since then. Um, just to uh, be thankful for one another, to remember those that we lost, uh, as well as to, uh, to, to remember that day.